hello you guys i'm back again this is relentless renee and i have another story that i want to share with you guys um five people sensually murdered at the gum and takes hostages in a florida bank i'm going to read some little snip snippets from the article and i give you my commentary on it five people were sensually murdered wednesday after a gunman took hostages in a Florida bank, forced them to the floor, and began shooting. The suspect was identified um, as Zephan Xavier. He's a 21-year-old resident of that um, community. It was said that at least five people were, were murdered. The gunman apparently entered and locked the bank then force customers to lie on the floor. A sheriff department armored vehicle arrived at the bank shortly after and someone on the inside called, which was the suspect. A man called police dispatch Wednesday afternoon and reported that he had fired shots inside the bank. The county SWAT team was sent in after the gunman who had barricaded himself inside refused to negotiate with officers. After the SWAT team burst inside, the gunman finally surrendered. Police were alerted to the incident by a man identified as Victor Sparks, who found the bank locked when he tried to go in to make a deposit. Peering inside, the guy saw what was going on. He saw people on the floor and someone walking among them. He told the newspaper he heard a big bang as he dashed off to call 911. Y'all, the year has not even begun yet, and we're already, okay, it's stating that the incident would mark the 19th mass shooting in 2019. We're not even 30 days into the new year. And my God, that's already the 19th mass shooting. And, y'all, I just cannot understand. I can't begin to understand why would someone do the things that they do? I mean, if you're so unhappy with life, why don't you just kill yourself? Although I don't agree with it. But if you notice the ones that are committing these crimes, you kill all these people. You have all these family members grieving, but they're still alive. But the suspect is still alive. Even in your drunk driving um, cases or any accident that's senseless, senseless, it's like it's always a lot of victims, but the driver still, you know, remain alive or untouched or unscathed. I, I really, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. I mean, I thought I heard it all when the shooting started to happen in the schools. And I'm like, my God. You know, I thought I heard it all. But then you got shootings in the workplace. You got, just like with this bank. So imagine the families on tonight. I mean, it's just senseless. They don't even have, you know, a motive to why he did it. Why not just kill yourself? I don't understand. I'll never understand it. I'll never understand it. It's crazy. And um, and they don't. They haven't released the names or. Um, the identities of the victim have not been released, you know, pending notification of next of kin. So, of course, you know, they got to, you know, let the families know and stuff like that. But it's unclear if those killed consist of any of the bank employees or customers inside the bank during the incident. So, right now, they don't know who is who. They just know that five people is dead. So, my advice to everybody, love on your family hard because you never know just by them going to work can cost them their lives.
thank you so much if you have not subscribed please like comment and subscribe i'll talk to you in the next video bye bye hello you guys i'm back again this is relentless renee and i have another story that i want to share with you guys